Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor. Sorry, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six. Me have my back because I have yours. These are messages from the universe and the way that they came out without an agenda. And these tried to come out. I'm not going to take these, but I'll take these that fail. One is in the reverse. Life source. And I don't think these are meant for reverse. So without an agenda, authenticity attracts a new chapter. Let go. Wild, of, wild and wonderful. And like I said, life source. And receiving it all. So you're destined to receive it all. It says you deserve to receive abundance and full capacity. Believe in your worth and trust that the universe is ready to deliver all that you desire up open up and so receiving it all be open to receive is what the universe is telling you when it when it says life source in the reverse at some point you were feeling um negative in regards to what the universe was offering you and in the upright it says when life comes to a standstill turn inward and focus on joy and excitement your inner light keeps everything alive and moving so again you're not uh, standing still anymore you're understanding that the without the agenda it says pure love and everything you have dreamed will happen when you are ready to give love without accepting anything in return true givers receive and so you without an agenda you do the things that you want to do and that and, and you love the way you need to love because you're authentic in regards to those situations that you put yourself in or that you get in situationships relationships whatever you want to call it jobs things like that you give your all and at some point those energies make you feel like you're at a standstill well you're not that way right now you're doing things without an agenda but you understand where it took for you to get to this point to not even to look back at I'm not going to say you're not going to look back because that would be a lie but to understand you're authentic in the things that you do and the way that you do things so it says being authentic authentic attracts the right people and repels the wrong ones when you stay true you naturally fil uh, filter out those who don't align with your path and so you are understanding that right now the people that keep you in a standstill or keep you thinking and second guessing yourself you're in a new chapter right now and you're going to understand that whatever you've done in the past you're open to receive everything that the universe has for you because these people made you feel like you had to be different or you had to change or who you were in order for you to uh, be loved by them but there's a new chapter here when things seem to be falling apart be be aware that things may become may be coming together in new ways that suit the next phase of your life even better and so that is where you are you're doing things without an agenda knowing that there's going to be a new chapter you're going to get blessings but you have to let go and it says, let go of negative people and toxic beliefs. Your time on earth is precious. Invest it wisely and be mindful of who you spend your time with. So again, the people that don't have the perfect agenda for you or don't feel the way you feel and love the way you love, you're understanding that wild and wonderful is the way to be and you're letting go of the things that no longer serve you and you're starting a new chapter and you're not going to be at a standstill. You're not going to hold back from anything or any place that you want to be and be a part of. And so it says, why focus on limitations and realism? Breakthroughs and miracles require no linear explanation or method. Unexplainable and illogical magic happens every day. So that is the new chapter that's happening. So you're letting go. My sister always say, let go and let God. And um, you're letting go and letting God, you know, and you're letting the universe bring to you what it is that you know that you deserve. And a broken mirror is here. The broken mirror is here. So with the broken mirror being here, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, unfinished business. Proposal, forgiveness, and reconciliation. So somebody is wanting for you to forgive them because of the um, of some type of unfinished business or the way they kept you stagnant. But they're snooping around, drive-by, stalking, social media, psychic tarot readings. So they could be getting tarot readings on you or driving by to see where you are. And what you're doing and message was underneath that card. So we're going to pull from this card deck. But you're living a wonderful life. You know, you're being wild and free. Even if you're not really ready to step outside, your mind is different. The way that you feel about things are different. But I believe that those are the 
the the way I think that's the way that the universe made us feel within the last couple of months to revive ourselves. It's cancer season. Yeah, team spirit. We got spirit. Yes, we do. We got spirit. How about you? If you guys went to a yeah, a pendulum, a reincarnation, rhythm, and certainty. You're certain that what you know that back and forth unfinished business is not something that you even want to pressure yourself with. It says goals, interest, and communication. You're not really. Uh, and remember, I said message was under there, under the other card. You're not really trying to communicate right now because at some point, whatever life, li whatever happened in the past, I was gonna say lies beneath or whatever happened in the past, you know, you're not really too ready to revisit that. Yeah, putting on a show and trash, yeah. Throwing out the trash, getting, uh, it says getting fed out. I don't know what that means. And then tossing it out. So you're throwing out the trash and people have been, because people have been putting on the show, the fake people that have been in your life that has caused you to be at a standstill. And so when it comes to these situations, the only thing that you can do is know that you have to let go other things are no longer serving and sometimes things aren't aren't worth revisiting now depending on how long you've been dealing with this situation ship or this job or whatever the situation that you've been going through you're just like no i'm not putting on a show anymore my poker face is there so they can't read you they don't know what's happening while you're steady steady grounding yourself and having stability it says stability security performance growth and endurance you're growing and growing in love but in love is unconditional love it's self-love is wholeness and it's also you know understanding and knowing what you are attracted to and affectionate about but this is selflessness and so that is when you're having the poker face someone is unable to change the way you feel and you're starting to take chances taking risk and seeing the options that you have available and not showing your hand and this is like you 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 know, are so serious that, you know, they can't, they can't see or read between the lines with you anymore or even make you smile about uh, something or even think about it. Yeah, this is in the reverse telepathic deck. Uh, acceleration, speed, uh, and in the upright it says speed up and chase the results you want. So at some point you were at a standstill, so you had to sit back, ground yourself, and observe and grow. Notice all the noteworthy things in your relationship. So at some point, you didn't really think it was. So Cupid is right here. It says love is in the air when Cupid is around. Cupid isn't around because it didn't show up. It showed you about love, but it didn't show you about love with anybody else. So when it comes to having the keys to business, when it comes to situations and just making head over heart decisions and, you know, having the key to be able to unlock any door, you had to get to a point to where you started treating things like a business. This deck is the make making money. What is it called? Um, money manifestation deck but my thing is is that within when it comes to money yeah when it comes to money and when it comes to doing things entrepreneur arthur and conditioning you have to condition yourself and it says have you accepted the illusion limits placed onto you you by upbringing and social conditioning so again you being stagnant has you has to do with you not having the key to open and close the doors that you want to go into but this is no understanding and learning that the acceleration and the halt hangman energy comes when you're not an author of your own story and you're not the one that is uh it says entrepreneur but you're not the one making the decisions you're allowing uh, people to make mental decisions the people that put on the show the fake people that come into your life um that are trying to have reconciliation when you decide that they're not a team player and they don't have team spirit you are you um you know allow them to control the things that you do and it says your words will have a great impact on those who read them and so you are being the author of your new book you're you're being the author of this new um and wonderful life that you're living but you know it all comes with look at this under the um conditioning obligations it says um, you have some prior contracts or commitments that still need to be fulfilled before you can completely move on to the next stage of your journey. And so sometimes that's the unfinished business that you have when it comes to, I guess, you know, letting go of the fake friends, the fake situations and being stagnant and just not letting anybody control you, but you're accelerating. But once you get out of this reverse energy of, um, the life sources, finding your life sources and knowing what's causing you to have these unfinished business, then 
you know, and, and really just be who you, who you are, you know, and that's the new chapter that you have to understand, but it takes for you to have to let go and live this wonderful life because the people that before were trash and they were putting on the show being fake. And so, you know, the thing is, is that you've been, the universe has been conditioning you to be the author of your own story, to be the entrepreneur, to make head over heart decisions, to have, to be emotionally stable, to be emotionally secure and to be able to fulfill the things that you want, if that makes sense. And so when it comes to, yeah, your insecurities and you making a decision to a pinnacles energy, two years, you've been trying to make a decision to see what the um, burdens are, to see what the um, ten of swords energy, you know, you, you, you know, the endings that you have to have, the feeling betrayed, you know, those type of things. Um, but feeling those energies and understanding that when it comes to you having to go back and say it, and that's maybe why poker face is out here. Yeah. Page of swords, not having clarity is the reason why you feel like you can't accelerate or move forward. And so when it comes to letting go, you have to deal with the unfinished business and take out the trash because that's the last thing that is going to stop you from going after your goals. And that's where you are understanding that you're, you're being conditioned to get to this point to where, yeah, you get rid of your toxic traits or the toxic energies that's around you, devil energy. Being in the reverse just lets you know that, you know, this is, um, this is, this is toxicity in the upright, but not in the reverse. In the reverse, the devil is just telling you that, no, you don't win. I win. You know, that's the energy. They can't, they can't penetrate you. They can't make you feel less than. They can't do anything to where they're destroying you. The only thing that they can do is watch you from a distance, and that's why they're snooping. And that's because, again, three of pentacles, a total of five years of struggle, and them not wanting to work with you, and you know this. Um, but you just didn't want to kind of, yeah, you didn't want to face it. Nine of uh, wands energy. You didn't want to face it and set boundaries. So the universe was like, okay, well, you're going to have to really see what love is. Uh, Page of Cups energy and be able to be a dreamer again, to be able to start over. And that's, you know, being sensitive and being okay with loving yourself and the way that you want to be loved. And that's your authentic self and without an agenda and living free. And so that's how. I see that energy you are able to live free when it comes to dealing with certain situations. And so there you have it. Uh, I'm going to pull more tarot to see what happens. But, yeah, it's been five years, close to five years of trying to make a decision, but going back and forth. Yeah, um, yeah, this is the moon energy of unsure. Unsure, basically, of what it is that you want to do, but also understanding that, yeah, you have the strength to be able to, yeah, uh, take the leap full energy the leap of a child unlearning to relearn going back to childhood again and trying to figure out where you are and where where um what what caused the halt in your life and so that's like you know understanding why you start dealing with you know people that you have to put a show on judgment realization yeah you had to realize that yeah the nine of pentacles energy in order to have your cake and eat it too to have your rewards you have to really understand that it's been close to nine years that you've been struggling back and forth. And now it's time um, after these five years of struggle for you to be able to move on with your life and to get the things together. Nine of Pentacles energy, nine years. Each pinnacle is equivalent to a year. And now that you have financial independence or you're getting to the point to where you're financially independent and you're making decisions on your own, you have to understand that you have to be self-sufficient in this situation. And that comes with uh, six of wands energy you understanding that to be victorious you have to be able to um you have to be conditioned to get to this point to um take out the trash you know and not deal with the people that are just lying and fake and putting on the show so the universe conditions you for this to ground yourself to observe and to see the real from the fake and understand that the life source and that being able to move forward is always going to be in reverse until you're able to deal with this with the poker face, even though you may not feel a certain way, but to, to get away from the toxicities, you have to be able to move forward and, and go from there, if that makes sense. And so sometimes it's easier said than done, but your emotions, and I'm going to pull from the true emotions deck, your emotions when it comes to dealing with uh, these situations is, you know, the hardest part for you. And to have the poker face and not show your hand or not even um, – 
you know, take a risk. Just waiting for something to happen is where you fail at every time because you have the round and around and not being happy, the triggers, the lessons, the, yep, fake busy again, fake friends, fake busy, having to pray and also understand that you've been backstabbed this whole time and there's endings that bring new beginnings. So you just have to get to a point to where you're conditioned, you know, you realize that the universe has been conditioning you to get out and to make sure that you understand what's causing you not to be happy or to move forward, the, the pain, the deceptions, you know, um, the mind games, things like that. And all you can do is pray for a situation and move. And, and I guess praying is getting rid of and reconciling your differences with this person, place, thing, or situation in the 5D and not necessarily in the 3D. And that is where you have to realize that you're not going to always be able to say what it is that you want. Sometimes you're just going to have to, um, you know, send strength and healing. Sorry, I had to turn around. Send strength and healing to this person, place, thing, or situation instead of just keep going around and around because you're opening up the door. But when you do this, the poker face is here because you're taking a risk to be able to move forward without any agenda, agenda without any, um, what is it called, um, resolve or something like that. So the green calcite is here, and we have don't take things personally. Yeah, everyone lives in their own dream. And this is like, to me, the when Jerika Gates, Kevin Gates' wife says, he's not hurting me, he's hurting himself, you know? And so understand that. All people live in their own dream in their own mind they are in completely different worlds from the one we live in and so somebody has to deal with their toxicities their addictions and have to deal with understanding that they lost a good one and so the green calcite is the heart chakra being able to send strength and healing period to a person place thing or a situation because no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher emotional balance healing and release so sometimes you just have to release. Endings bring new beginnings. And you have to understand that I find pleasures in simple joys in life. And that is who you are. And that's you being wild and wonderful and letting go and being authentic in your new life, in your new chapter, and doing things without an agenda, without even, you know, uh, worrying about how somebody else feels about you. You're moving forward. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses dead bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be and that's why they're in the reverse to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys happy birthday